Hey, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast All Day. Christy Alonzo. Hello. Uh, talking about a French film that got an awards run at the end of 2019 is now going wider for Valentine's Day weekend. Was sadly overlooked by the Academy Awards, even by its own home country of France, which... Craziness. Could 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 submit only one film to Best Foreign Film. They picked Les Miserables, which is, you know, no... you know, It's good. That's a fair shot. I get it, you know. But, but come on. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. <laughs> Once you have seen this, and you should, oh, yeah. and you should go see it in a theater mm -hmm. because it is one of the most gorgeous films you will ever see in your life. Um, every single frame of it is like a picture that you'd want to hang in your home. Um, and it is just devastatingly romantic and sad and sexy and beautiful. Um, Tell us what it's about. It is about um, this painter played by Noemi Merlin, who is asked to go and paint the portrait of this young woman who is about to be married. This all takes place at the end of the of the 18th century on the uh, it's on Brittany, right? On the yeah. off the coast of France. France. And um and so she goes there with this assignment to paint this young woman's portrait, this wealthy young woman. Um she gets there and she learns this woman does not want to have her portrait painted and was very defiant and vehemently so when the last artist came through. So they pretend at first that she is this friend companion. And, friend and companion who has been brought in by the family to take walks with her along the beach and just to to be with her as she prepares to marry this guy that she doesn't even like. Mm. It's just, you know, wealthy families joining and, you know, combining their their households. And um the young woman is played by Adele Hanel and they have this incredibly sparky prickly chemistry from the very yes. beginning like they don't meet and mesh immediately <laughs> at all and it is sort of like that classic thing of like you meet and you argue or you just don't get along or you right. don't hit it off and like that spark is actually the beginning of something that's really going to like take hold and and blossom the, and the opposite of love isn't hate it's indifference there you go and so um so the two of them hang out and they take these walks yeah, and the, they get to know each other. The mother uh, who has hired the painter leaves for a while. And so for a good chunk of the film, this big house is basically occupied by the two of them and a maid. And they weirdly sort of create this like bubble of kind of feminist utopia in a, in a world where like none of them really have any kind of control over their lives. And, you know, the daughter's about to be married off and the painter has to deal with their own stuff. But like, there's this, they just kind of grasp this moment of being in charge of their own destinies. And of course, obviously the painter and her subject fall in love with each other. And it is an incredibly passionate uh, romance as portrayed by the film. Uh, the cinematographer is the same woman who shot Atlantics, which we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Claire Mathon. Claire Mathon, uh, Who was? LA Film Critics, uh, Best Cinematography Winner this year. The first woman we've ever given that award mm -hmm. to. Um, and yeah, this movie is just like, breathtaking in its in its natural vistas but also in the the interiors of this house in terms of like the lighting feels legitimately 18th century you know and also i i like that um it, we were just talking about how with with downhill the english language remake of force majeure that they don't let us linger in the silence they don't let mm. us just sit with it and experience what the characters feel here we get that opportunity so many times and we feel such an intimacy with these women even if they're on like a cliff or like a massive beach like we still feel as you say the bubble that they are in we feel the warmth of the intimacy of that connection and it takes a while mm -hmm. it takes a while for a this love to develop but you can see even just like in the, in the friendship and the way that they look at each other and like like you'll notice one of them noticing the other you mm. know whether it's like playing the piano or you know just sitting there and talking like you can feel them feeling each other and like and there's so much in that glance. It is literally the female glance. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. It was direct directed by uh, Celine, Celine Sciamma. Sciamma. Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to Hélène Delmar. She is the artist who actually creates the paintings in the film. And you even see her hands at some points doing the painting. The paintings themselves are so important to the plot mm -hmm. as far as like understanding how the characters are are perceiving each other and you know what is being seen and what's being represented which is so vital to what the story that's being told are there's such a great visual representation of what's what's unfolding between these two women i have to say like a thing that drives me nuts in movies like an otherwise 
well-crafted, well-organized movie will give me like a really fake looking newspaper uh-huh. or like a website. A, a <laughs> website or a family photo on the wall that's clearly been photoshopped because they couldn't get the actors together or put them in wigs or whatever. Like I, that it just nothing takes me out faster. Mm-hmm. And in a movie that's so much about the paintings, the paintings are so relevant to the plot and seem exactly like what this woman would be creating. And they say so much and they're so beautifully crafted. I just, I have to, I had to acknowledge that because I, I was really impressed by how the movie got that right. Totally. And it's such a huge part of um, Noemi Merlant's character as far as her development as an artist, as yes. far as how you see how her experiences shape her art. And as you yes. say, they are in this world where like no man's telling him what to do. And you know that A, that can't last. Of course. You know the romance can't last. Yeah. And so this whole thing is so achingly bittersweet because it's like, it's perfect and it's ephemeral. And <laughs> right? Perfect and doomed. Um, and also the art is crucial because the very last painting yes. that we see has a really crucial detail that is heart breaking mm. oh my god it's, it's tiny but it matters so much yeah over the course of what they've experienced together so it's just beautiful and and again unlike downhill the movie trusts you to pick up on that yourself yes it isn't like <laughs> pointed out there's a thing and you kind of have a sense that, that that detail might be coming but once you see it it's like oh, oh. rip my heart out of my chest so it's really gorgeous um yeah it is opening again and opening wider this weekend and I really hope that if it's anywhere near you that you have an opportunity to go and see it yeah. I don't know if it's ever going to stream anywhere well it's and, I mean, Neon it, has it, it. Oh, so Neon has it yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, at some yeah. point I guess it will but again like if you can it's just breathtakingly beautiful yeah um, it definitely is one that, that benefits from the big screen because yeah the, the it's shot there is just there is such a breathlessness to like the ocean crashing waves and the and, and but then also to those those tense moments where they're sort of sussing each other out and the those kind of tense portrait sitting things like yeah. there's a lot you really want to just you want that quiet of the theater and you want that rush of sound and you want the sort of visual panorama in front of you so like not that you can't watch it on TV uh-huh. but if you can see in the theater and you know? both of these actresses are so incredibly beautiful mm-hmm. and in really distinct and different ways yeah. and uh, and they look great together and so yeah go yeah. check it out you might They're recognize so Ad- Adele Adele Adele, Adele Hanel. Adele, yes, Adele Hanel mm-hmm. from uh, she's been in some uh, Darden Brothers movies. Oh, okay. So yeah, and it's like the way they feel each other out, like yeah, because there's like a, a quiet kind of defiant strength to Noemi Merlant's character, and like mm. a, a surly kind of impudent, like like yes. like bitchy rich girl to Adele <laughs> Hanel, but like they break down one another's defenses, and they you know they figure out who they truly are individually and with each other and it's just gorgeous so yeah. anyway check it out I'm saying 9.6 and I said 9.2 so yes. we're 9.4 uh, so yeah be on the lookout for this film you know Neon brought us Parasite so like I assume they'll get this out you know to some uh, wideness in its release and if it does well you know even more so so anyway keep it's an eye a, out yeah it's an ideal Valentine's movie whether you oh, are gay totally. whether you are straight whether oh, you yeah, are yeah, none yeah. of the above or all of the above whatever, go check it out whatever dog you do or don't have in that hunt <laughs> this is a great Valentine's Day uh-huh. movie uh, what's coming up on a la carte a la carte is a guy named Morgan Patterson who I've known for several years he's a production designer oh. I've not had a production designer on before okay. this is very different um, among the many movies he's, he's a, oh sorry I'm wrong he's a location manager the guy I just booked as a production designer. <laughs> Morgan's a location manager. Which we also haven't had before. Which we also have not had before. Apologies to my friend Jake, who is a production designer. Um, <laughs> Morgan has worked on many, many TV shows and movies, including um, the Top Gun sequel that's coming out Ooh. and Four versus Ferrari. Okay. Yeah, so he so, has interesting stories to tell. So he knows basically how to make Southern California look like anywhere on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also talk about the, the neighborhoods in L.A. that have become his favorite go-to ones yeah, um, okay. because because they can be various eras, like West Adams, like Pasadena. You know, so well, that, 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 that main drag in Burbank where you can still window shop. It looks like the 50s. Yes. Yes. So, totally. um, so, wait, so Morgan Patterson's on Monday. Cool. All right. Well, check that out, y'all. And uh, as always, thanks so much for, for spending some time with us. Uh, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us at Be Fast All Day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and uh, visit 
patreon.com slash BeFast all day. We're doing lots of stuff over there exclusively for our subscribers, talking about TV shows like HBO's The Outsider and McMillions and other fun stuff over there as well. So if you haven't already, take a look. And if you uh, are one of our Patreon subscribers, thanks so much. We super appreciate it. Uh, see you guys next week and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Until then, bye. Bye-bye.